Hello YouTube, in this video I will show you how to build a reflow oven. First of all you need a solid state relay and also a cooling element for it. To measure the temperature you need a thermal cowl and an amplifier. An Arduino Nano is used as a microcontroller to control the whole system. The control circuit is actually very simple. The Arduino Nano controls the solid state relay, which switches the phase to the heating element of the oven. The thermocouple gives temperature feedback for the PID controller on the Arduino. I will show you now the whole building process for such a reflow oven. In the first step, the electronics need to be manufactured. It was necessary to cut some isolation gaps for the controller. Next, everything needs to be soldered together. We will transform a Teresa Alforno pizza oven into a reflow oven. This oven has 1.4 kilowatts of power. The old timer module was replaced with a solid state driller, which is then directly connected to the two heating elements. Heat conducting paste is necessary between the solid state driller and the cooling element. A hole was drilled at the back side of the pizza oven to mount the thermocouple. But don't do that, because in the end I needed to replace the thermocouple by a way smaller one. The temperature measurement with such a huge thermocouple is too slow, such that I burned a first PCB. Finally, an enclosure was built for the controller and the controller mounted inside. So the oven was ready for a first test. Et voila, this is the result. A fully car cold PCB. The temperature sensor was way too slow, so we heated it up to maybe 400 degrees. I finally replaced the thermocouple with the one in the description. After replacing the thermocouple, a new test was done and this worked pretty good. The heat paste on this PCB was already dried out, but I thought 
For a first test with the new thermocouple, it was a good idea. So I put this PCB inside the reflow oven and the result was actually very good. The whole process took around 10 minutes including the cooling phase. This is how it looks like. So it's not perfect, but I think it does the job. So I finally assembled a whole new PCB with new components and also this worked very good. So the build controller inside this reflow oven works perfectly. Here, here a lot of QFN parts were used. The code for the Arduino you find in the video description and you can adjust it as needed. The controller drives temperature ramps and with these parameters here you can adjust them. The temperature is in degree Celsius and the, the time in milliseconds. You have a state machine implemented for the different reflow phases and you can start the process by commanding A over the serial interface and B to stop. Be careful with this build and don't do it if you don't know what you do since it's high voltage involved. Thanks for watching my video and if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And also thumbs up are very welcome.